Well, you know, if I'm going to be put in a corner, there's no better corner than Eddie's Corner. Welcome to that. Episode four, they said it wouldn't last. I'm Eddie Applefeld. Happy you're able to join me today at Anchors, well, actually, Anthony's Anchors Away, 3648 Washington Boulevard. This restaurant is open seven days, serving breakfast, lunch, dinner. Actually, breakfast is in a separate area that they call the diner. There's a great bar where people drink and have food and enjoy themselves. Entertainment, yes, once in a while there is entertainment. Great stuff about crabs, too. We'll show you some crabs later on and tell you more about that. But right now, we're off on a trip. We're heading to the southwest part of Virginia at a place called Stanton, even though it's spelled S-T-A-U-N-T-O-N. We're going to tell you all about it, and then we're going to be back to show you some food and meet the owner. Okay, let's make another trip to Virginia and go beyond the Ray Caverns and visit the town of Stanton, just off I-81 and about three hours from Baltimore. Stonewall Jackson Hotel was my base hotel, 24 South Market Street. 124 rooms, four of them suites, just refurbished this past winter, and I'm told it's the only full-service hotel in town. There's a daily buffet breakfast, pool, and fitness center. The average rate, well, around 129. Next door is the American Shakespeare Center with shows year-round. Two troops perform four shows that alternate except for the holidays when it's two shows. The theater is a recreation of the Blackfriars Playhouse in London. The town of Stanton offers attractions, restaurants, museums, shops, and beautiful homes like this one. You also find many churches open for visits. The city's main street was included in Fodor's list of 25 cutest streets in America. The only town in Virginia, by the way, on that list. One of their historic areas is known as the Wharf. Here you'll find restaurants like the Depot Grill, a former train depot, and Sunspot Studios, a artisan glassblowing store. One place you should miss is the Woodrow Wilson birthplace and library. He was our 25th president. Go in and learn about his life and his term as president. By the way, he was the only president with a doctorate. Close by to this is the Mary Baldwin University. Now, I enjoyed my stroll around this lovely campus. For dining, I'll recommend Zenendoa, 115 East Beverly, locally owned with signature dishes like the cast iron cornbread and the river fried oysters. I enjoyed the New York Strip, dinner seven days with a Sunday brunch. In short, Stanton, Virginia is a good choice for an overnight or maybe even a day trip. I really enjoyed my visit there, and I'm sure you will too. By the way, that sailfish you see behind me, I caught that all by myself. And if you believe it, raise your right hand. I'd like you to meet Anthony Orendorf. He is our owner, a young guy running the place. Again, it's Anthony's Anchors Away. Crabs, a big deal in summertime. Monday night's here. Tell me about it. Monday nights, we have all you can eat crabs for $35. It's crabs, corn, french fries, and soup, and a two hour limit from 2 30 to 8 o'clock. Recommendations for reservations? I, yeah, please, please do that. Okay, I've had them here, and they are great. It's all you can eat now, right? All you can eat crabs. All right, let's take a look at some of these crabs that Anthony was talking about. Here are the large crabs. By the way, they're offered here year-round, so you just give a call, make sure they have them, particularly in the wintertime. But the crabs are great here. I've had them many times. Also, the crab cakes. This is, I guess, a jumbo lump crab cake with the french fries and asparagus. Wonderful here. It it's kind of melts in your mouth. I enjoyed those two many a time. And here's one of the specialties of the house, crab sauce Antonio. And Anthony, named after you, of course, tell me about that. Uh, so it's a jumbo lump crab, uh, crab meat with uh, a steamed crab in the middle, and it's a uh, bucatini pasta. I've not had it, but I'm going to try it. I, I, I highly recommend it. Now they're seating here for about 150 people. Again, it's about one, two, three dining rooms, right? Yeah. All right, so that's about it. This is episode four of Eddie's Corner. We'll see you the next time. Thanks for watching.